What's going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Tom Conman, Connors professional street basketball player and multiple world record holder. Welcome to my humble home. My wife is down there in the corner. Yes, hi babe. <laughs> Baby's asleep, so I thought I'd shoot another tutorial. Um, guys, we've been dropping loads of really cool tutorials, street ball moves, freestyle moves, um, a bit of shooting, all kinds of bits and pieces. Today, we're gonna get into shooting off the backboard um, and how it opens up that um, extra ability to drop some extra points um, in, 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 in tough situations with people guarding you. And this is a drill to, to get you guys um, a bit better at shooting off the backboard. So let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so guys, what we're gonna be looking to do for this drill, there's gonna be a couple of parts to it. So the first part is um, just to get nice and, um, and your wrist nice and warm, really close to the hoop. We're gonna come off the backboard, okay? And we're looking to come off the backboard and, and try and swish it, okay? So if you shoot and it comes, um, you know, that was a couple of swishes, you can always tell it comes off the backboard into the swishes. Now, the, what I'm trying to get from that is um, control from your wrist, okay? So that, it went in, but it's not a swish. There you go. So that wasn't, that wasn't perfect. That was, that was perfect. That was perfect, okay? That was perfect. So I'm looking for swishes, okay? So we're looking at 10, you know, 10, 10 from each side, okay? So just warm up your wrist nice and nice and easy. And also why we're doing that is because whenever you shoot a static shot and you just go for the hoop and you come off the backboard, you have to put a lot more power into the jump shot because it's got to come off the backboard. So you flick your wrist a bit harder or your arm extends a bit more. Um, the further out you are, for example, your, your arm may extend, especially from the three pointers to give you that extra power. But if you're closer and your arm's halfway and you're using your wrist for a shot, like my arm's not, not fully extended because it doesn't need to be. This also helps just that, that part there because we're not shooting and getting your arm to extend. We're not doing that. We're working on your wrist. Your wrist is the touch. Shoot is touch, finger rolls, all comes from your wrist, okay? So it's not that I'm just trying to get you to do boring shots and stuff like that. This is what I spend hours and hours and hours a day doing, is shooting, different techniques, different drills, and, um, and now it's shooting you guys. So, okay, so now we're gonna st step back a bit at a slight angle from the hoop, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing again, okay? But we're looking for swishes off the back, okay? Re repetition and repetition and repetition, but that's how great NBA players, um, you know, great shooters, sorry, from the NBA, um, you know, become great because of the repetition, which basically just means over and over repeating yourself. Um, uh, practice, you know, people say practice makes perfect, but I believe perfect practice makes perfect and taking it to another level. So that's why I'm after swishes off the back because you can't get more perfect than um, a swish, okay? So, so we're looking at 10 from that side, okay? Um, and then we're gonna look for 10, obviously, on the other side, okay? So when you're shooting, obviously, we're shooting off the backboard, okay? So you can see there, that wasn't perfect. So I'm looking at trying to get, the, get that perfect shot every time because we wanna be a professional basketball player or a great street ball player. And we're looking at putting the work in, guys. We're looking to put the work in to to do that okay so we want 10 now from this side step out 10 from that side so that's a, a total of 40 shots so far so we're going to take another step back okay so we're not from the side obviously okay we're, we're a little bit in so we can go off the backboard okay same thing guys 10 shots off the backboard okay relatively close to the hoop okay and you can do this with a friend um, or you can actually do it um, by yourself. Now I spend hours, um, both really, I'd spend hours shooting with my mates and we'd have competitions who could hit the most. Um, and obviously when they'd go home or whatever, 
I just shoot um, on my own. So we want 10 from that side, and then we're looking at 10 this side, so a little bit further away. Okay, and again, we're looking for swishes, guys. Okay, we want 10 swishes. Now, once, you know, there's two perfect shots there off the backboard, okay? Three. So I'm trying to, we're trying to get 10, okay? Okay, that wasn't, okay? So 10 that side, 10 that side. Now we've done 60 shots, we're gonna be stepping out a bit further, okay? So now we're about here. Now, with these shots, obviously, now you're getting a little bit of distance away. You've really got to try and get the, the motion is almost like a, a, a really sort of hard motion in to your, into your hands off the backboard, okay? When you're that far away, okay? It's a harder flick. And we're looking at another 10 coming off the, off the board from about this distance, okay? So once you've hit 10 over that side, okay, we're looking at hitting 10 this side. So we're gonna get into why, why we're doing this in a second. So guys, this is called Garden Drills. Thanks for tuning in. I want you guys to become the best basketball players you can be. Yes, I am a streetball player, but it's, uh, you know, if you want to have a chance of becoming a professional basketball player in your country or the NBA, you're going to need a jump shot. Um, so this is, you know, part of that whole, the whole drills of shooting guys, all the different things I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to go through and teach you guys. So guys, we're doing 10, 20, 40, 60, I'm sorry, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. That's 80 shots now, okay? So take it over to 100. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we, we've gone to the side here. Okay, so guys, this time round, okay, we're sort of like midpoint. We're almost at the free throw line, almost, okay? But you really have to focus hitting the basketball off the side of the bat ball, okay? We're not going, we're not looking at getting the ball into the net like this, okay? We're looking at coming off the bat ball. Now, that shot into the hoop is, is a nice, easy shot from here. But to come off the backboard and change the, the, the dynamics of your shot, you're forcing the ball more with your arm and your wrist, okay? You've got to come off the, off the backboard a lot harder, okay? So let me try and explain the two shots there, okay? The first shot it, into the hoop, my arm is not extended. It's not doing that. My arm is about here. Okay, so it's a soft touch, okay? To come off the backboard from there, okay, we're changing the shot so my arm is extended because we've got to get that basketball coming off quite hard off the backboard, okay? It's a different shot. Okay, so again, it's a different shot. It's coming off the backboard, but we are changing the style and dynamics of the shot, giving you a bit more range. So we're going off the backboard, okay? Same thing, guys. 10 from each side, okay? This will total 100 shots that we've just put up, okay? To be honest, if I was running this drill with my friends, I, would, I wouldn't, I, if I missed one shot, I'd start again. But, you know, this is my job and uh, I wanna try and help you guys get to that point where this is your job as well, okay? So, we're gonna do 10 from that side, okay? And 10 from this side. So. Like I said, it's not quite the free throw, okay? But you've really got to try and shoot off, off the backboard and, and your arm is extended now, okay? So the, the reason why I'm trying to teach you that, guys, is when you shoot, okay, my, my arm is not extended, it's not this. It's here, and then I'm shooting, okay? So the touch is in your, in your hand. This is how great finger roll guys do it, great shooters. The further away you get, okay, the more you're gonna have to extend your arm and extend that wrist, especially from the three point range to get that, the range. But when you're in and around the hoop here, okay, you can shoot and, and it's, it's all, your arm is not extended. Your arm is not extended, okay? So I don't know if coaches are sitting there and you have to do perfect, 
your arm has to be extended and everything has to be perfect, that's fine. But that's not the way I believe you become a great shooter. So you have to listen to your body, you have to listen to the distances, you have to stop, um, you know, put, uh, to do what, what shots you want. Okay, but I'm never extending my arm. Okay, I'm not extending my arm. So let's go back over here. This is, you know, coming to 100 shots for you guys, okay? Come on off the backboard, okay? Now, I would probably say to you that it's easier coming off the backboard than it is just going for a, a normal shot or swish. So, if your shots are not perfect, you're not a fantastic shooter, you might want to try and find yourself from the side of the basketball here, okay? Shooting off the backboard. So, it will help you out in a game, okay? So if you're, if you're playing, you're backing down someone, you step back, come off the backboard, okay? You will definitely hit more shots than, say, coming off someone and trying to hit that perfect swish, okay? But it's things you can work on. So guys, let's just recap what we've done so far off the backboard. We're down here, okay? We've done 10 from each side. We've taken a step back, we've hit 10 each side, taking us to 40 shots. We've come back, we've hit a shot, that's 60 shots there and back, okay? Another step out, okay? Now we're on 80 shots there and back. Can't believe I just missed that one, okay? So 80 shots back from there, and obviously right out, so here, okay? And we're looking at off the backboard, and you really do have to put some emphasis on that arm and wrist. Um, you know, quite hard. You have to try and shoot quite hard, okay? Um, so we've done 100 shots now. And now what we're gonna try and do to, that's a drill that you could do um, a couple of times a day. If your friends are over, like I said, have competitions, um, he can pass you back the ball, okay? You can get consistently good um, at trying to, you know, stop in and coming off that backboard, nice, okay? So what we're gonna do now is add another um, element into coming off the backboard, okay? So, from side to side here, this is just fun drills to do at home. This is why I call garden drills. Okay, we're gonna be in front of the hoop, okay? And what we're gonna do is you're gonna, you can either walk, okay? Stop, turn, and pop, okay? We're gonna, here, stop, pop, okay? And we're gonna go back and forth, like I said, just in front of the hoop. Nice side, nice side shot here, okay? Don't run, don't sprint, just nice and relaxed, okay? Come off the backboard. And we want to try and say put 10 shots up okay so that's five and you do 10. so we're about just underneath the hoop here okay you can see so it's a, it's a slight jog left and right okay looking at 10 shots okay and then we're going to take a step back it's all about getting distances and practicing each distance to become a great shooter from all over the basketball court okay so exactly the same thing now okay but we're gonna we, we, we were here a second ago now we're gonna take one big step back and it's exactly the same thing we're looking for, okay? So we dribble into the sides, okay? Off the backboard, pick up the ball, jog a little bit, turn off the backboard and we're looking at 10 shots. Back and forth, okay? Not really running, slight jog, okay? So turn, we're looking at 10 of them. Okay, so you guessed it. We're gonna take another step back now. Okay, same thing, looking at 10 shots back and forth, okay? Slight jog, coming off the backboard, okay? Just back and forth, okay? Okay, so, I can't sit here and do every single shot, we'll be out here an hour, okay? So this is tutorials to try and teach you the drills, so you can go outside and do the hour, because I've put my time in already. Okay, so again, another big step back, okay? Now, already now, we're, we're almost at the, three, the free throw line, okay? So we, to bank off from, say, the key, it's a really, really tough shot you don't really want to be banking from that side, okay? So let's just say this was the key here. You don't want to be coming off the backboard here, 
okay? You don't want to be doing that. You want to be going for the hoop from this distance. Anything that's inside the free throw line, if you take, if this is the free throw line and you take one step, two step down and then a step forward, this is the range. This is the area where you want to be coming here, going off the backboard. It will open up so many more shots for you um, in difficult situations, backing down, fadeaways. Um, if someone's on you and you want to turn and you go off the backboard, the reason why that's so good, if, if, you're, if, if you're backing down someone here and you turn and you shoot off the backboard, I, if I was to shoot into the hoop, I'd have to spin my body around here to have a perfect shot. He's got much more chance of getting to you to block you. Where actually, if you're here and you stop and go off the backboard, I'm facing down the fields, but you turn around and you've all of a sudden got the backboard there for an easy shot. So like I said, we're not looking at trying to, to come off the backboard up here, okay? That's not really what we've been working on. We're looking at the side, the side, okay? So around here, we're coming off the backboard. And um, if it's down here, for example, okay? We're coming off the backboard there, certainly off the, 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 the wider and uh, uh, the side views here, okay? You can jab step, you can step back, you can work on some um, other backboard drills, okay? So that was a, a good number of shots there, guys. Um, so from, from close range, stepping out, stepping out, stepping out, stepping back, stepping back, okay? So you're at least over maybe 120, 140 shots there, okay? And you can practice that for, for um, a, you know, a good hour a day with your friends, easy, have some fun with someone. So if you could do this drill and put 200 shots up off the backboard, okay, every day, man, seven days a week, you'd be a great off the backboard shooter. It opens up so many more shots for you. If someone's guarding you who's taller, you can back down, you can jump out, you can go against the backboard. You don't have to constantly try and get your whole shoulders, everything perfect in line. You could be here, you could jump out and shoot off the board, okay? It really does open up um, a few extra shots um, and, and give you guys a little bit more scoring capability, okay? So that's it, that's the drill. Um, try and create 200 shots, start nice and close, warm that wrist up, step back, step back, step back, step away, step away. Give yourself a nice variety off the back, uh, backboard shots. Um, really, um, if you're a good shooter, be looking at five or six out of 10, okay? Um, before you take that next step. If you're missing consistently, just go back, scrap again, start again, okay? We want at least five or six before you take that step back or to the side, okay? So guys, we'll be back soon. Um, for anyone that wants more street ball moves and freestyle -y things and stuff like that, it's all coming. Um, my garden and drills is for all. Um, I believe you can't become a great street ball player. You can't make it professional unless you have the fundamentals of the game. And that includes uh, your footwork, um, a, a shooting, obviously, and the number of varieties of shooting, as well as handles and all those kind of things. So hopefully you guys are enjoying me, stay with me. I really want you guys to get better with me here. Um, uh, for you guys at home as well, on the garden, this is where all the dreams start on the garden. It started for me and it's been my career for nearly 18 years. It's been a dream come true. I want to help you guys accomplish your own um, ambition. So thank you so much for tuning in. I will very, very see you very soon for another garden, garden drills.